In this video, I'll show you how you can use GitHub's issues and project boards to plan a, um, a set of work. So in this case, I, I have this data, um, data dashboard and it, um, it allows us to visualize um, data that's being used in a report. And I need to update this for a, um, to the most recent data for a presentation that I'm giving in 10 days. So um, first I, um, in planning, I created an issue that I called my project backlog. And this lays out all the work that I want to be, want to do for this uh, data visualization. I have some updates to the, the, um, the kind of user interface that I want to do. Um, but for this presentation coming up on in 10 days, I needed to really focus on only those items that I need to work on for the demo. And the key thing is uh, this first set of work called this Epic, and that is getting the new data into the dashboard. I want to show you a nice feature of issues, how you can convert these uh, checkboxes into issues. So here, if you haven't used the checkboxes before, I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a hyphen, a square bracket, space, square bracket, and then another space. And if you write it like that, it's going to create this checkbox. And next to checkboxes, you can go over here and convert that right to an issue. So what I worked on was I got, you know, figured out here, here's the, the epics, these big groups of work that I need to do. And then once I had that figured out, I then create that an issue from that. So uh, I put the notes down here of what this issue is about. Let me just copy that. So I'll go ahead and make one of these so I can go there. Now you can see it's an issue. I can go here and then I can edit that, add this in, and leave these a little task. Uh, so these tasks are like sub a subgroup of tasks. There I can't just like go and do exactly that. Well, maybe the README I could, but in general, these um, these are. Uh, quote unquote stories. So a group of, of t things that will have subtask within them. And my labeling system is it's S3, three is the epic, and then one is the order there. Okay. I'm not going to do all of them, but sort of get the, how you can set that up. Okay. That's good enough. All right. I'll update that later. Okay. So you can see this is now created, now these checkboxes, and now I could go ahead and convert that to an issue. But let's go back to here, this first one. This is actually um, this epic. This group of work is what I need to get done in the next 10 days because this is what I'm demoing. So I took that work and I broke it down into the various chunks of work that I need to do, smaller chunks of work, these stories. So I created those uh, task buttons that you showed using the hyphen square bracket space square bracket. I created it to issues and then within here I put my subtask. For these I'm not going to create an issue. These subtasks are you know very self-contained. I just need to do them and then check it off. And then I can go onto the project board and show you how I keep track of my little sprint here. So here's my sprint. I decided what I need to get done. This is the only thing I want to get done on this project. So this keeps me on task. I, I do a lot of work on this uh, dashboard, but I need to stay focused 
and only work on these things right here during the next 10 days so that I make sure I have a working demo for my presentation. And what you can do here is, so you decide what you're working on, you move it over to in progress, and then work on that and then move it over into done. I could obviously work on all of these at once, but I know that that kind of work style would make me more uh, inefficient. So it's, it's more efficient to you know, work on one of these stories, get it done, move it over. My exception is that this one, I depend on some other people. So if I don't hear from them tomorrow morning, I'll pick another one of these and then start plugging away and get that done. All right, that's it.